I was so excited to meet you, Aunt Courtney. I can't believe I'm here. Me too, dear. How are you? Did you sleep fine last night? Yeah, I did. I was so tired. I didn't even know where I was. It is so peaceful and quiet here. I woke up to the sounds of many birds playing in your garden. I am glad you came and you're comfortable here. What are you two girls talking about? I was just going to ask for you. Are you fine now? How's your headache? Yes, I'm fine, my dear. Sleep made it better. Good sleep is one of the most important keys to better health. Most people do not realize this, but deep sleep takes out the trash for the brain and body. It has an ancient restorative power to clear waste from the brain. Even more surprising is that severe chronic sleep deprivation may actually result in death. Really? I never knew that. I've done a lot of research lately and found that deep sleep makes the process of our aging more manageable. Hmm, Elsa, tell me one thing. Are you interested in knowing the things that will help you in your better health and stamina? That's why I'm here. I want to learn everything. I also want to become a scientist and graduate to pursue a career in finding the cause of aging, as well as all diseases. And then I will help you. The idea is not only to reverse or slow down our age, but to be healthy and fit too. When you understand how to reverse age your life, it is possible to live to age 100 in perfect health, while making this world an even better place to live, like what you want to do. I want to ask that I know there are genes that are common between different species and humans, which control aging. How can we control them for betterment of our health? Do you know which genes are they? Not specifically, but I know that such genes exist. Right, so there are various categories. There are hundreds of longevity genes that are known, but they fall into three main buckets. The first one is called mTOR. It's a little m for mammals. And TOR, the target of rapamycin. What is rapamycin? It is the anti-aging drug that is produced by the soil bacterium Streptomyces hygroscopicus. Oh, okay. So mTOR is a longevity gene that makes a protein that senses amino acids. When you eat a big steak, mTOR activity actually is activated, and mTOR now says, okay, I've got lots of protein, I'm going to make muscle, I'm going to burn energy. And that's why when you eat a steak, you actually build up muscle, more than if you don't eat a lot of protein. So is that a good thing? No, it's actually not. What you want is to have mTOR levels low to inhibit the mTOR. And when you have low mTOR activity, that's when you get the longest lifespan. Mice that are given a drug called rapamycin should be given in low doses. Those mice live dramatically longer. Even if you give them rapamycin when they're 20 months of age, which is a really old mouse, that'd be like a 75-year-old human, they still live longer. It turns out it's not just for mice. You give rapamycin to a yeast cell or a fly or a worm, they also live longer. So you can tap in with these drugs into this universal longevity program, one of which is mTOR. That is so cool.